friends, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zila, and we are here today doing the Alpha 8 Experimental Series. So, last episode you saw me come up in a space with the um, Camo Shack, and I have expanded on the Camo Shack. So, let me give you a bit of a tour of the inside. So, I finished the interior shell of it so to speak so it's double thickness play, um, hardened steel plate blocks uh, all the way around so top bottom and sides um, and it has just temporarily it has 60 of the medium thrusters so 10 pretty much 10 in every direction plus using some of the the smaller ones that I still had. All oh, right, I picked some of this already, so let's just pick the rest of this. Come on, give me those berries. Give me your berries, thank you. And all that, yeah. And I already got all that. Okay, so let's go over here. Sorry, I'm whipping the camera around a little bit quick there, but I just want to get all this stuff in here and take care of. So I went to the moon, picked a little bit more pentaxa, not much. Um, and but I think that'll get us going. I'm going to put that in the constructors, or one of the constructors right now. Let's um, I have three advanced constructors on this ship now, so I'll show you. Okay, this one has nothing in it here. Let's just sure we can do that. Let's like this and just get all that cranked up okay nice so let me give you more of a tour here so this was the garden you guys have already seen this um, I'm just gonna go into third-person view just so it doesn't so it's a little bit smoother looking around it's not so jarry okay so this is you guys should be familiar with this the upgraded two fridges with the T2 from um, the farms that I had looted and put another um, thing in. <laughs> Food thing. Yeah, that's what they're called. Okay, so here's the bay, so to speak, the parking bay. So, um, or let's call it the hangar bay. This is the hangar bay. So here's the hangar bay. The HV is right where we left it. I took this out and went um, and picked some more pentaxid and then I was getting tired and didn't want to anymore. So I came home and yeah, I got the other video going and stuff. So now, um, here we go. This is flyable again but it is not the same we've got this part here that I constructed and it is for the constructors and stuff um, I'm a little bit confused <clears throat> I'm not sure where about all the they just call these decoration blocks now and I'm not sure because these things, the tech tech equipment doesn't give you the scanners anymore. I don't know where to get the medical scanners. So I was a little bit, it's not available in that deco anymore. Um, so I'm, I'm a little bit confused if they don't have it anymore at all, then it's, I know they've introduced a whole bunch more um, conditions and stats I guess they remove those temporarily until they make new ones I guess to match the consistent so conditions and stats that get applied uh, now so I don't know let's let's reserve judgment until they add those back in because I'm pretty sure they will they just have to have all the the new effects and there's probably going to be more of them or something. They're going to probably add a few more because there sure seems to be more maladies that can afflict you now in the game. 
Um, I'm getting hellaciously on, low on copper. I'm not too bad on silicone. I still got a whole stack of unprocessed ore. Um, sathium, I'm getting low on now. I still got lots of Neo. So sathium's a bit of a problem. Copper is a real problem at this point. We need to do something about copper. I've got another small batch here and that's it so we've got another like 300 400 tops uh iron we're still got you know a stack and a half unprocessed so that's another 3k so we're doing good there we've got silicone and cobalt um so it's just copper that we're really copper and sathium sathium we're gonna be low on we've only got about We've got less than 500, just less than 500 in total. Uh, but for now, we do have enough thrusters on this thing. So, yeah, I haven't painted this or textured it yet. It's just up and functional into the next phase of its life. Of its, of its, uh, it'll eventually blossom into a caterpillar. Well, caterpillar of death, but. Right now, it's still in the cocoon state. And so here's its, its um, cockpit up front. Up here, we have the engineering bay. And this will be like a lounge area, I guess, bedroom or something. Um, so this goes into the engineering, which is pretty much a death trap. You, you can... You can fuel the do the warp tank from here and that's about it <laughs> if you go in there you're gonna die oh do I lie am I still in the doorway am I still in the oh there we go yeah 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 so if you get too far in there you could get maybe stuck or something and die but you know that'd be foolish of me so we got this whole area up here to deco out really I mean because it's really got no other function I guess I could make this a medical center up here if we ever figure out the what, or if they ever bring in the new stuff. Uh, okay, and then this just goes to outside for now. So let me give you a tour of the blockiness that it is. Keep in mind this is the interior of it only. So this is the interior shell. And we'll be adding a whole ton more thrusters to it. And putting, and then reskinning the whole thing on the outside with uh, with combat steel. So this isn't going to look like blocks. It just does right now. We're going to be adding more. We're going to be smoothing out the corners. We're going to be adding a smooth shell of armor on the side, on the outside, or at least a little bit more aerodynamic shell of armor. Um. So yeah, it's not complete yet by any means. It's got the next phase to go and that's all the major amount of thrusters I got to make for it. I got to make at least another, oh, I got to make some large thrusters, but I still got to make another probably 150 of the mediums or 180, 180 I should say, because I want to do 60 of each direction, right? So, or not 60 of each direction, I want to do uh, go by sixes, so that would be 30 in each direction. 30 in each direction, and then, yeah, so I need to do at least another 30 in each direction. Um, and then a couple of big ones out the back or something too, right? So... But for now, it'll get us around. It's a little sluggish. I think I want to actually make a couple more RCS while we're up here. And not with that one. Okay, so oh, let's uh, grab our contaxid out of there. And we'll make a couple more RCS. So let's go into the capital vessel. And I don't have the power coils for T2s. So we'll just do the standard. We'll do a couple more. It's got four right now. If I put two more in, it should smooth it out a little bit better. Make it 
a little bit faster turning, which is all it's really going to need. It's not fast to begin with. I'm not really planning on going into combat with this yet. But it's not a completely frail one-shot die CV anymore with the double shell of uh, hardened steel on the inside keeping us alive. <clears throat> okay. So here we go. So yeah, that's that's pretty much the only setting I've changed uh, from hard to easy is the constructor time and the blueprint spawn time because at this phase in the game, once you have a vehicle and yeah, once you have a vehicle and you're pretty much safe and and all the constructor speed does is just make it grindy. It doesn't make it more difficult. So it's it's kind of, of a misnomer. It's not the, the constructor speed doesn't add difficulty. It just makes it just boring and tedious. <laughs> like uh, so, you know, in my private games, I run with it uh, fast construction. Now, the, the only reason I did a, f a hard start, I wanted to see if it was going to be viable for, like, uh, Iron Man to do a hard start in it. And, um, yeah, I guess Captain Odonis, if, if you see this video, um, it is viable to do a hard start. So keep that in mind, guys, you know. You might want to practice up your hard starts. Get at least get to the point where you're alive and safe in a in a hard start. But whatever. <clears throat> okay. So here we go. We are good. Uh, so yeah, it's basically just a uh, a Lego block right now. But this is just the interior. This isn't what it's actually going to look like. So we've got this. Um, Pentaxid here refined. Let's throw that into our fill that up. So let's manage this. We've got 48. I mean, I've I've got way too much fuel in here. <laughs> it's just that we're gonna burn a lot more fuel once we add a, another, you know, a couple hundred more thrusters. So we'll just top this up a bit here. Okay. So, I think today, so how is that? That's much better. That's actually quite a bit better. It was really bad before. Now it's at least usable. We can, it's still really sluggish. Really sluggish to RCS around. Uh, you know what? Let's make two more. Let's make two more. There's, there's no sense. We can do it. It's going to be a pain in the butt. Let's just make two more. Points. There we go. Because those two did help. Two more should ju just be right. And this thing can't get up to real fast speeds. It can't get up to max speed. But it'll get up to enough to fast enough to warp. And that's all we really need right now. With all the um, hardened steel, the double thickness hardened steel around the whole thing, it, it makes it a little heavy and slow. And it's going to make it a lot more heavy and slow when we add a, a whole layer of the combat steel around it. Okay. So we can put this in. So let's just get out, launch our drone. Oops. Launch our drone. And we'll just pop this up. And we don't want it too far forward. Let's just pop them on either side here. And. Oops, I went too far. 
Okay. Let's try this again. Let's do it over here. And I did it there. I did it there already? Yeah, let me do it there. Let's do it over here. Yeah, this is it. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Well, let's jump in. So the only play... Yeah, this is better. There we go. There we go. This is... This is usable. We can deal with this. Okay, here we go. Well, let's check out the map. Let's check out the map. So we've got... Um, should have went and found some more Promethium and mine that. Oh, well, I can do that off camera. Uh, this Sunok. Let's go to Sunok. So Sunok Orbit. And we'll lock onto there. That's interesting, the new graphics, how it's, you know, it kind of zooms in to a planet-looking thing. And then, nice. Nice. That's cool. Okay, so did I not... Did I not lock? Am I... Do I have... No? Oh, yeah. See, I had the stupid frickin' bumped F6 crap going on, right? Right? Not like any of you have ever done that. I'm the only person that ever hits F6 by accident. Okay, so it looks like I'm only going to get a up to 70 meters a second in this thing but I think it should be fine to warp yep I think I need like 65 or something okay woo green and white so let's check out the specs on this thing it is a uh, so anything in the orbit, iron. Iron, really? That's it? Uh, oh, we got, we have potential to an, another, huh, a short jump over to a asteroid field? Okay. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. So what is on here? This is, um... Iron, silicon, cobalt, neo, sath, promethium. Okay, no copper. <laughs> what about on the moon? No, cobalt, magnesium, promethium, pentaxid. Pentaxid. So that's like a starter moon or something? Okay. Um, hmm. Not really anything interesting. Not really anything interesting at all, and we still got we still got a lot of um, hang on. Do we actually here? Yeah, we still got okay. So you know what? I think we're gonna continue on because it doesn't necessarily have what we need. Uh, it has more sath and stuff. That's great, but I think we need to keep exploring, right? Right? Absolutely, we need to keep exploring. So, well, I guess this asteroid field is next. Can we, can we not lock on it? No. Oh, there we go. You got to click on it and click hard, hard. Um. We didn't go over to the other asteroid field up there either, did we? Okay, so let's lock on that. Let's see where we can go. Oh, really? Come on, I've done a 180 here. We're seriously now? <laughs> Come on. Okay. Um, so let's. Fire up the war pigeons. Oh, yeah. Asteroid field. Oh, it looks like there is a trading station here. That's very interesting. Let's take a look at what they got. Silicone, cobalt, and gold. 
Oh, gold is there and a trading station. Gold and a trading station. Wow. Um, that's cool. Is there anything? Oh, we got some other... Wow, so far we could have taken the SV around to all this. Really? Except for that one asteroid field way up there. Huh. Isn't that interesting? So what do we got here? Moker. Moker? Moker? Okay. Moker orbit. Huh. Doesn't look like a very big planet. But let's... Let's try it. Um, hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Let's not get ridiculous here and get ourselves trapped where we can't. <clears throat> we got 55. No, it's still 64. Okay, okay, we're okay, we're okay. I'm just freaking out for no reason. What do we got left here? Three. Okay, so not much. So we've got to keep that in mind. And, okay, so how much is it going to cost to get back, then? So if we do 14 and 14, that's 20. That's 25. And then another... That was 8. That's 30. 3. And then that was, like... 40s. Okay, so we're okay. We're okay. We can get to Mokar. But then that's the that's just before the point of no return. So we can't really go too much past Mokar. So let's let's do that. Let's do Mokar. And we'll go to Mokar. Two Mokar, here we go. Oh. Ooh, it's yellow with a trading station out in space somewhere. Interesting, interesting. Okay, I don't see any red dots around. We do have six minigun turrets, though, mounted on this thing with like 10,000 rounds of ammo, so... We can, we can potentially defend ourselves against drones, anything heavier than a drone, and I'm just going to run away. Well, putter away. Um, let's take this magnesium and gold out in the atmosphere, or out in the space here. Uh, what has it got? It's got just one planet. Iron, copper, promethium, cobalt, arrestrum, and magnesium with arrestrum depletion. Hmm. That all sounds very good. Ooh, that didn't sound good at all. <laughs> yeah. It's like running fingernails across a chalkboard. <laughs> okay. Yeah, stop that. Stop. Um, hmm, I really like the sound of that heavy acid rain. Don't like the sound of that, though. I can handle those temperatures and the radiation. The gravity kind of sucks. It's only a, a size 3, and it's alien. Ooh. Breathable atmosphere. Huh. Isn't that interesting? It's got iron, copper, everything except silicone. Iron and copper. I do need the copper. Now they're going to have like a... Stop it. I'm going to need to take the SV down there. So let's do that. Let's back off. We're just going to... We're at 73... 7,300 meters. Let's... Let's just head out a little further yet. I'm 
sure we're okay here, but I just... I just want to make sure. Okay. So let's turn around and... Face the planet. We will level off. Kind of get it in our view when we level off here. Okay, good enough. And we will jump out. Okay, let's take this down and, oh, let's grab some food. Food, food, food. Um, well, I guess I could have walked by it and grabbed it. I still can. Let's just do that, because i got to walk by there anyway. And, okay, so the garden is going, and, oh, we can pick the spice right now. That's not going to do us a lot of good. Although, you know what, it might. We're going to hit level 19 if, if we do, so, you know, you know what? Let's do that. <laughs> and level up really quick, see what we can take. Put this in here. Okay, um... Oh, we can make canned vegetables, so let's just crank 100, well, 20, no, it'll make four or something. <laughs> hey, we can do canned meat, too. That's interesting. We can do canned meat instead with a whole bunch of spice. So that only requires two, that requires four, and the meat requires vegetables, one plant protein, one vegetable. Plant protein requires one vegetable, so two vegetable for the meat, two meat, so that's four vegetables and four spice, and this is four vegetables and two spice. Same parish, well, almost same parish time, negligible difference, really. Uh, better health on the vegetable, better food on the vegetable, and about the same stamina gain. So, bang for your buck, the canned vegetables is better than the canned meat. Yeah, by far. I guess if you had meat that you took from an animal, uh, but actually making it with vegetables, it's not worth it. <clears throat> You're better off making canned vegetables. Anyway, that's what I can perceive there from the math. Just doing the math says me that. It says me that. Yep. I do good math, but I just can't talk. Come on, food. You know what, we're gonna, no, we can't actually leave that behind. Oh, it's actually on its last one, so let's grab that. Okay, we'll grab those six cans. We've got 25 large fuel packs. We've got a whole bunch of drill charges. These drills are fine. We're bringing our constructor, portable constructor, good, because if we need to make a core, we need the portable constructor for that. The mobile constructors no longer make cores, so that's interesting. They only make stuff for themselves. They're really kind of greedy that way um, and selfish. They're, they're selfish constructors now. Jeez. Okay. Um... <laughs> <sighs> That's 200. Yeah, let's see. Whoops. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just wanted to eat one. Thank you very much. Uh, let's take... We'll take this stack of 12 with us. And I think we're going to be good to go. Let's um, head into... Now, did I fuel it back up again when I... To the moon. Let's see. And yep, yep, yep. Uh, oh, ac 
actually, what's my, oh, I got tons of oxygen. Tons, tons, tons. Okay. Got some fuel. We might have to try and find some promethium. I don't need this metaxid on me. That's fine, though. Okay. So we've got, oh, right, ammo that I picked up. I'm not using that for the CV anymore. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I can use it with my gun. That's fine. And we rose a level. Now, so we're at level 19. We've got to start thinking about saving up for level 20 points. And I don't think I want to learn any of this stuff here. <clears throat> I don't think I want to learn any of this stuff. No. Uh, no. And can't. And no. And can't. Okay, so you know what? I'm not even going to spend my unlock points for level 19. They're not going to get me anything that I want. I'll just wait for level 20. Okay, so, um, let's, where are we at here, in the way of, um, you know what, we should make some ammo, does, does this thing have anything in it, I don't think I left anything in it, no, oh I did. I missed that. Huh. I can just leave it in there. That's not a big deal right now. Okay. Uh, let's just go. Let's just go. So. Let's fire up all the engines. Okay, they're looking fired up. Open says me. Oh, did I fail? I think I failed. Oh, come on, really? I'm not really sure what's going on. I can't see. <laughs> I think I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. We escaped. I don't know what that was all about. <laughs> okay. Gosh. Oh, I didn't turn the... I didn't turn the engines off? That's really sloppy of me. Let's, here, let's get out and do that. I'm going to have to do that. Um, let's just go at the back. Turn the engines off. Yeah. Big fuel consumption benefit from doing that. Okay, so. Well, let's go check out the planet. It's pretty cool, an alien planet. So other people seem to be getting lucky and like planets with a short jump from the original starter and they're getting like Arastrium and Zascosium and stuff. So that doesn't seem to be the case with this particular seed. I've had to do a couple jumps just to get to somewhere with Arastrium so far. Hopefully we can get some pentaxid, and then I don't have to worry so much. I can just start cruising around. Just want to get over some deep water, or whatever this yellow stuff is. I'm assuming it's water. It's got a breathable atmosphere, so... 
is likely to be water. Okay. And did we come over top the drone base? Because <clears throat> that's you know normal for me. Um, let's level out. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I don't see any POIs right off the bat. Okay, let's head east. And we'll see what we can see. Oh, 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 oh. We've got enemy contact. And what? Come on, really? Am I there? God, I keep hitting. <coughs> 243. I keep hitting the... Wow, really? I've got to come this close to hit to get in range? Okay. There's another one behind me somewhere here. Right there. Oh, he's a bigger one. He's a bigger one. He's a, he's a big boy. He's gonna hurt me if I get too close, so let's just... Now I don't, I'm not necessarily liking this behavior that you tap them once and they go into a spinning frenzy and not defend themselves. I think they should be able to turn around and start shooting at you and it should just be least accurate, less accurate for them if they're being shot at the same time. But they should be able to defend themselves. This is, it's kind of I don't know, I don't really like that behavior. Oops. I don't have that open. Let's try that again. Come on. Oh, I don't have my jetpack on. Let's try that again. <laughs> okay. And wow! Really? <laughs> 1500? Okay. That's awesome, because I forgot to make bullets. <laughs> so the first thing I shoot down, I get 1,500. Oh, man. No, I, I did make bullets, and I left it all at the, didn't I? I can't even remember now. You know, I, that's, that's what dementia does for you. It makes it so that every time you play the game, it's new. So I'll never have to ever play, buy another game. Because I'll always be entertained by the scene. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, let's just throw that. <laughs> oh really? Really? Zila? Really? Did I actually really do that? I'm afraid so. Uh, well, should we go loot this one anyway? Might as well. Plasma drone, we could get like uh, 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 a mounted weapon out of it. Okay, something sounds really. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, yeah, we have a bad feeling about this. I don't like him. I don't think he likes me. He hasn't seen me yet by the look of it. What do we got over here? Some... Well, he's just boogieing. Where's he going? Is he, is he the guy's replacement? I don't think so. Is he just patrolling? And I... Not close enough. Jeez. And whoa, 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 whoa. Are, wait, are these all just kind of drones hanging around doing nothing? Okay, what? Why? Look at them all. They're just... They're like little bees. 
And whoa, look at that guy coming in real fast over there. Let's kill this guy. Go check out. Is he coming in as like a replacement? What's going on here? Oh, whoa, 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 buddy. Where are you coming from? What is up with all these drones? There's no, not even any resources here. Do they know I'm here? Come on. Um... And then he's coming in. He's coming in at me here. What's going on? We've been on him out yet? That's kind of crazy. Okay, so let's try and get some of these before they disappear. Where's that CV? Where's that patrol vessel? Yeah, I don't see it. I don't see it. Okay. I don't see it. So let's try and get this without... Oh, see, more guys are coming in. Really? Where... thing. Let's see. Let's try. Oops. Whoa. Yeah, super jump. Do a Mario super jump. That's what I need you to do. Oh, there. See? That's what that's what I was talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's that's gold. That's more than gold. That's awesome. That's why I gotta loot these guys. They're important. Very important loot. So we gotta kill these things. Let's go like this. Spawn the freaking drone. There we go. Where are you? There you are. Get your goodies. And we'll get your buddy's goodies over here. me now? No? Hello? Oh, 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 oh. Don't know what he's doing. I think we're going to have to go find his platform. I think before I do anything on this planet, I'm going to have to go find his platform and take it out. Because it's just... He's going to he's gonna give me a bad day. A really bad day. And let's take care of these guys. <clears throat> it's almost like they're wandering in off the water. It's kind of trippy. Oof. Wow. That's hard to see.
Come on, good loot. What? Oh, is that one I already... Wait. Huh? There was no loot? Maybe, did I loot him already? Okay, maybe is it the guy behind me? Ugh. Lose track of drones that you shot down and which ones you looted quite easy when there's a bunch of them. Let's get this if we can. There we go. Oh, nice. Another, another one. That's huge. All that stuff goes in the factory and is good, uh, really good resources. Really good. Let's get this guy. So that's just silly. They just spin like a top. Um, not much of a challenge. Pretty much zero challenge. And get uber loot for it. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so the AI of the drones is not really working the greatest. And whoa, but, but why is why are they why do they like this spot so much? Where are they coming from? It's just weird. It's almost like they know I'm flying around here, so let's let's distract them by you know flying up to them, letting them shoot us, and spinning around like a top. that's a good strategy. We'll just all, you know, suicide by dancing in front of them. Well, whatever. I mean, you know, if that's their strategy, that's their strategy. I'm, I'll just kill them then. Okay. Um... Hmm. I don't really want to take on that CV. I think I'd rather find its platform. So, this is getting a little long in the tooth here. Uh, let's call it here. This is, uh, this was some fun little plasma drone shenanigans for no reason. There's no resources around here or nothing. Just a ton of plasma drones coming at me. That was bizarre, really. That was kind of cool, but they just... It would it would have been really cool if they actually shot. <laughs> you know, I just, just, just saying. I, I don't know. Okay, guys. Well, uh, if you like this episode, give me a like. If you want to see when the next episode is published, uh, make sure that you've subscribed and turn your notifications on. Well, guys, till the next episode... Uh, I'll be going around kind of scouting out the planet. Uh, I'll find the uh, patrol vessel's platform and probably just just neuter it on the spot as soon as I see it. It's not it's not a big deal. There's, you know, oh, it's something coming at me, something coming at me. Oh, I thought something was coming at me. Nope. So just white dots. Okay. You know. Uh, and there's the CV. And that, is he coming towards here now? Is that pointing in this direction? That might be. No, maybe not. I don't know. I don't want to deal with a patrol vessel. So we're going to call it here, guys. Till the next episode. You guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day.